My name is M.G. Leonard, and I'm an author. I've just written a book about a bird spotter called Twitch. And I thought you might like some top tips on becoming a bird spotter yourself. It's actually really easy. This bag I keep packed up under my desk, and any time of day I want to go out bird spotting, I just grab it and I throw it on. Um, in it is everything that you need to go out bird spotting. In this tiny little front pocket, I've got a very small book of birds because I'm very new to this hobby and quite often I'll be looking at a bird and I won't know what I'm seeing so I can look it up or I think I know but I just need confirmation. So I like to have a really tiny bird book on me at all times so that if I see something I can identify it. So I keep that tiny little book in the front pocket of my bag. Then in the next pocket of my bag, I've got a notebook and a pen. Now, the great thing is when you identify a bird, you can open your special bird watching notebook and then you can write down the date and the time and the place that you've seen it, the species of bird that you think it is, so in these woods, there are some great spotted woodpeckers. And when I see them, they're amazing. Maybe if you're good at drawing, you could also draw a picture of the bird that you see. You could look up the bird in your little field guide and then you could write some facts about it. Um, and you could also write what you saw the bird doing. Was the bird eating? Was it a woodpecker hammering its head? Could you hear it? Could you identify its song? Was it a male or female bird? All of these things that you couldn't uh, see you can write in your book and then your book becomes a list of all of the birds that you've spotted and identified and slowly as that list builds it's like building your own collection you also build your knowledge so the book is very important always have a book and a pen so that's in that pocket and then in the big pocket I have my binoculars now you don't need a fancy pair of binoculars. You don't really need binoculars at all. You can just use your eyes. And in fact, I use my eyes most of all. I don't look for birds with binoculars, but sometimes I'll see a bird and it'll be really quite far away and it will have landed and it will be in a bush or in a tree. And I'll think it's a special bird, like it could be a kite or it could be a buzzard or a bird of prey. And that's when I get out the binoculars so that I can get a better look and I can bring it much closer to me. And sometimes I get to see some exciting things like it's hunting or something like that. And the binoculars really come in handy. Um, so I keep them in the big pocket of my bag. And really, other than having a little space for uh, a recyclable bottle of water and some snacks, that's all you need. If you don't have anywhere near you that you want to go out walking in to do bird spotting, maybe you would like to bring the birds to your garden. In which case, all you want to do is uh, make sure that you're making it a bird friendly garden. Uh, the most unfriendly thing to birds, sadly, are cats, predators. So we want to try and give them safe spaces away from any predators. In those safe spaces, you can hang bird feeders. You can put mealworms in them or you can put sunflower seeds and nuts, anything that they like. Um, I hang up little half coconut shells full of lard, full of fat uh, for them uh, in the winter to help keep them warm and fed um, and some fresh water. But the other thing that you can do that's really helpful to bring birds into your garden is make a little wildlife pond doesn't need to be deep or anything. It doesn't even need to be big. It could be the size of a tire. Um, but in the summer, if it's hot, they'll come for a bath uh, or they'll come to drink or they may come to eat the insects that will gather around the water. So bird food in the garden or a little out bird spotting pack. These things will really help get you started if you fancy a little hobby of bird watching. I highly recommend it. It's a lovely thing to do on a sunny day.